Lesson 7.5 in Pre-Algebra Operations with Time and Mixed Units. This is the last lesson of Chapter 7, and it's a pretty short one. And uh, not a whole lot of hard stuff to convert here. Um, example 1, they want you to convert 3 hours and 15 minutes to um, the first one they want you to do, A. They want you to translate that to minutes. So you've got 3 hours, 15 minutes, and they want to know how many minutes that is. Well, we already know part of it, 15 minutes. So all we have to do is take 3 hours, change that to minutes, and add it then to the 15 that we were already given. So this is the part we have to change. So we start with 3 hours times line hours. Do we know how many minutes are in an hour? Sure, 60 Cross that out, cross that out, and 3 times 60 is 180. Add the 15 minutes, and we have 195 minutes as our answer if we change 3 hours 15 minutes to strictly minutes. In example number 2, they are asking us to add some times together. So we've got 5 minutes. 37 seconds, and they want us to add 7 minutes, 45 seconds. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to add those. Um, 37 and 45 is 82. 5 and 7 is 12. And that looks good. The, the problem here is... Um, 82 seconds is more than a minute. So there are 60 minutes or 60 seconds to a minute. So we're going to take 60 of these away and add it to the minutes over here. And so 82, we took 60 of away. That's left with 22 seconds. So we have 13 minutes and then our leftover 22 seconds here. So when you're doing these, when you're adding minutes and seconds and hours and all that together, if the answer is more than the next unit up, like 82 seconds is larger than one minute because there's 60 seconds to a minute, you take that 60 seconds, convert it to a minute, and the remaining seconds are left alone, and you add these two together. So just something to think about when you're doing that. So let's go ahead and look at example three. And these are subtraction of, uh, of time. So we have 34 minutes. And they want us to subtract that from 8 hours, 15 minutes. So we have 8 hours, 15 minutes. And they want us to take away... 34 minutes from that. Well, notice we cannot subtract 15 minus 34. We can't take those away. This number here has to be bigger than this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to borrow an hour from over here and take that hour that I borrow and put it over here. But in order to put it over here with the minutes, I'm going to have to convert that hour to minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this seven hours and I'm going to take that one hour and put it here and change it to minutes. One hour, 60 minutes. So now I have 75 minutes there. So I've got 75 minutes minus 34 minutes. And when I subtract uh, 34 from 75, I get 41 minutes. So this is my answer here, and this 7 is just going to stay. So 7 hours, 41 minutes. Okay, so if you have to watch that part again, go ahead and do that, because it's real easy to get confused. But all I did was borrowed an hour from here, but in order to put it over here, I had to change it to minutes. 
All right, we're going to do the same thing with um, some weight here with a halibut. So Jake purchases four halibut. The fish were $6 per pound and each weighed 3 pounds, 12 ounces. What is the cost of the four fish? So how much did he actually have to pay for all four of those fish when they were $6 a pound? And each fish, surprise, surprise, weighed exactly the same, 3 pounds, 12 ounces. So first of all, I need to find out how much the total four fish weighed. So I've got three pounds, four ounces, and I have um, four of those. So I have to add this number four times in order to get my answer, or I can multiply it by four. So I'm going to multiply this by four, and then I'm going to multiply this by four. So I have 12 pounds, 48 ounces. Now, again, 48 ounces is more than a pound. One pound is 16 ounces. So I'm going to have to convert um, my ounces to pounds so that I can take um, my information, my ending here, and if, if I can change some of these ounces into pounds, I can move it over there. So 12 pounds, 48 ounces is how much I have, but 48 ounces is... Um, too many ounces. Some of those can be converted to pounds. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take my 48 ounces and I'm going to convert to pounds. 16 ounces, 1 pound. Cancel, cancel. And I've got 48 divided by 16. And 48 divided by 16 is 3 pounds. So, actually what I've got, 48 ounces is the same as 3 pounds. So I can take my 12 pounds that I had when I multiplied here, and I'm going to add my 48 ounces, which I just changed to pounds, and that's going to be 15 pounds now. So 3 pounds, 12 ounces, times 4 is going to be 15 pounds. So I have 15 pounds of fish, and they were $6 a pound, which I don't know where in the world he bought halibut for $6 a pound but I take 15 times 6 and I get $90. Okay, so that's it for example number 4. And again, problem set number 7.5 um, should not be too terribly difficult. We've done pretty much all the different examples there, so you shouldn't have too much of a hassle there. And that's the end of chapter 7.